So section 8 of the Mine Health and Safety Act focuses on mining machinery and equipment. I think based on historical events, the legislation was drafted and defined to assist in mitigate, mitigating risk within the mining industry and also ensuring operator safety. So considering that uh, the immerse levels 1 through to 8 was, was put in operation and did not mitigate the risks uh, between those levels, there is the additional safety layer, level 9, vehicle intervention, where Hexagon operates in. The immerse level 9 technologies comes into place where an operator fails to act um, or take action when um, to avoid incidents on the mine and that's where Hexagon's technology play a vital role. With over 60,000 vehicles operating globally with Hexagon's technologies, we have collision avoidance systems to impact um, the safety standards and improve uh, with a 360 visibility around the vehicle just to ensure operator awareness and ensure a level of safety is maintained on the mine. Hexagon's CAS system is an additional layer um, of safety to provide the operators with the awareness around the vehicle um, that's required. Hexagon's level 9 VIS system, so vehicle intervention system, acts as the last layer to intervene when an operator fails to do so. Uh, just a little bit about our level 9 solution. The propulsion is inhibited when certain conditions are met and Thereafter, if the operator fails to slow down or act on that alert or warning, uh, the brakes would bind within the vehicle. Hexagon has a robust and compact system which is offered to our customers. These could be simple things like effective communication between threats around the vehicle to the operator. It could also include having one computer, one display, providing multiple solutions and not having the clutter within the cab um, associated with operator driver visibility. So assuming you talking about open cast mining, we are able to determine other vehicles within a threshold of 500 meters uh, through GNSS technologies. We are also able to accurately position other vehicles or people or obstacles closer to the vehicle through our radar technologies and to increase visibility for operator awareness we use radar technologies um, anything from 0 to 30 meters from there um, and in the event of bad weather we are also able to use some of that radar technologies to just give it um, that awareness, that extra layer of awareness to operators. My perception is that many years ago, a group of people sat around the table and discussed a list of guidelines on how to improve safety around the world. And they came up with the MERS levels one to nine, where the adoption of technology could be accelerated through suppliers such as Hexagon and this is only when your levels 1 through to 6 could not mitigate risks accordingly. Due to our systems being installed on multiple vehicles, multiple mines across the world, there is a lot of data that we have that can show risks associated with near misses, HPIs on the mine. It's a little bit of a difficult challenge to put that together and understand whether an incident would have happened at that time. We do know of certain instances where fatalities have occurred and unfortunately with that person not being present to unfold some of the events that transpired a few minutes, maybe seconds before the incident, we do see that Hexagon Systems comes in showing that predictive analytics and looking at some of the data on that last steps that were taken
to either mitigate the incident and also determine what could have went wrong before that particular time. Hexagon has a uh, customer portal, the customer uh, community, and we see that a lot of our customers globally do request turnkey solutions. They always want to know if solutions can be effective, made robust, adaptable to their operations. And together with the OEMs, we see that if there's challenges or technology deficiencies within the market, Hexagon is able to leverage that gap and enhance some of those very closely related technologies to enhance operator safety on the mines without hampering productivity. I think it's not only the technology solutions that we've provided to the mining industry, but some of our relationships that we've gained also assists us and guides us into the right path. We are heavily invested into artificial, artificial intelligence and machine learning. We also see that the need for technology solutions in the safety sector and productivity sector is not only reliant just in the mining industry, but I think we're trying to impact you know, everyday life as well.